Big news out of Columbus. Intel's coming to town. We're going to get into that and so much more coming up next. I'm Erin Moore with the Moore Home Team at Cube Realty here in Columbus, Ohio. If you're new to our page, make sure to hit that subscribe button, stay in the know of everything Columbus, its suburbs, and real estate. And if you're looking to buy or sell in the Columbus area, you're in luck. We're real estate agents. Contact us at our information below, and we look forward to hearing from you. Now, let's get into all of the great information about Intel coming to Columbus. We're heading towards the end of January 2022, and Intel just made a massive announcement. And that's that it plans to spend 20 billion, yes, that's billions with a B, dollars, building two new semiconductor factories, or fabs as they're called, here in the Columbus area. So not only amazing news for Columbus, but amazing news for the entire state of Ohio. It's actually the largest single site uh, investment in Ohio's history. So like I said, huge for Columbus and the state of Ohio. Everybody's a buzz about it. And we're super excited for Intel to build and come to Columbus. And where they plan on building these fabs is in Licking County, it's called Jersey Township. They're looking to annex that land into New Albany, Ohio, which if you're not familiar with the Columbus area, New Albany is just northeast of downtown Columbus. Now, if you've been paying attention to the news um, these past couple years, you've probably been hearing about this chip shortage. Now, Intel doesn't plan to start building till later in this year, 2022, and they're saying that they expect the fabs to be completely built by 2025. So the sh chip shortage, it won't help in the short term, but it will help in the long term. And from what I've researched, about eight out of 10 chips, we're currently having to get those from Asia. So this is actually going to not only help the city and state, but it's going to help the entire US because we're gonna be able to get more chips from inside our own country and stay in the good old US of A. So if you're not from Columbus, even if you're from Columbus, you might be thinking, why did Intel decide to build in Columbus? Well, if you've watched my Facts About Columbus video, you might actually know a couple of these answers. The first reason is because Columbus actually has 50 colleges and universities in its area. That's a lot of higher education. That's a lot of people getting degrees here in and around the Columbus area. And actually, Intel has committed to $100 million in developing talent pipeline in the region. So that's huge for people that never thought of this as a career path or people who did think of this as a career path and have had to leave the state because we didn't have any semiconductor factories here. So it's going to help give so many more options and that's not even considering the different suppliers and partners that they have because those jobs will be available you know, as well. Now, when it comes to another reason and it probably is the biggest reason that they chose Columbus is land. So for these two semiconductor factories, these two fabs, they're going to be using about 1,700 acres of land. So they need a lot of land. But what they requested was an area that could supply even more land. And luckily Columbus, this area has 3,190 acres of land because Intel, they haven't committed to more than the two fabs, but they have said that potentially they could build up to eight fabs on that land. So just think about eight semiconductor factories. That's a lot of land that would be needed. And luckily Columbus came up with that land, but that is huge news. They're saying potentially in the next 10 years, they could build up to those eight fabs. Like I said, they're only committed to two right now, but that potential is huge. The CEO, Pat Gelsinger has said, with talking about the potential of the future, that this could be, quote, 
the largest silicon manufacturing location on the planet. So we're not talking about the state, the country, we're talking about in the world. And that's just, it's mind blowing to think about the future of Columbus and what could potentially be there. So like I said, you know, obviously the excitement's here. Uh, also when it comes to Columbus, a lot of people might not realize until they look at the map that Columbus is only a day's travel time for any, to get to any major city in the Midwest. So we're really close to a lot of other big cities. So Columbus is a great location. We're even super close to Canada. Uh, so being able to get those chips sent out to other parts of the country, Columbus is a great place um, for that to happen. And another reason that they chose Columbus is because of the land having cheaper utilities. Now, they also have a lot of access to water. So I found this fascinating. It takes 5 million gallons of water each day to manufacture these chips. So that's a ton of water. Luckily from what I've read, Intel is looking to 100% recycle this water by 2030. So hopefully, you know, that'll happen sooner rather than later because we'd love to see the water recycled, um, especially using that much every single day. So why is this good for Colum Columbus? Obviously, a lot of jobs coming to the area, a boom in the economy. They're saying that in these two fabs, they're expecting about 3,000 jobs, and um, that'll be in the next three years. Like I said, um, they're looking to start building towards the end of this year, but may not be done until 2025. So people will be coming throughout the next three years. But you have to think about the construction. They're thinking about 7,000 short-term construction jobs and tens of thousands of jobs when it comes to suppliers and other partnerships. Now, there are some partnerships already here in the state, but Intel is saying that they expect other suppliers and partners to commit to coming to the state of Ohio, which would be huge, especially not even in Colum if they don't even choose Columbus, if they choose other parts of the state. I know that there are parts of the state that could really use those jobs. So that's huge. Um, Intel says that it expects, like I said, more companies to follow. Um, they're saying that those 3,000 jobs that are going to be the employees in, in the fabs, that their income is going to be right around $135,000, which the average income right now in the Columbus area is $65,000. So that's a, a pretty good income for the Columbus area. And it's also going to be good for the Columbus area because we're going to be considered a tech hub. And I don't even know how many people in Columbus realize that out in that area where they're planning to build, there are already some data centers. We have Amazon, Google, and Facebook data centers right where in the area where Intel is going to be building these fabs. So, a lot of great things that have been happening in Columbus, such a bright future with Intel coming to town. But we need to take a step back for a second because being in real estate, being a realtor, we do need to mention the one possible downside <laughs> of Intel coming to town, and that's the housing shortage. So we are currently approximately 3,000 homes behind when it comes to building homes and when it comes to having the inventory that we need in Columbus. So, of course, knowing that all these jobs are going to be coming to the Columbus area, we really need to get more homes built. We really need to get more options out there because if you know anything about the real estate that's been going on these past couple of years, there's been such a limited inventory and we just can't have that for the future because one thing you've got to think about is the incomes for these people versus the incomes for people currently in Columbus. You know, they would be able to compete more so for these homes and everything. But then also we have to think about rent prices. Those have continued to increase in the area and with higher incomes, 
usually come higher rent prices. So we'll be keeping our ears to the ground and letting you know what we're hearing when it comes to real estate and when it comes to these jobs and how everything's going to be impacted. So comment below. We'd love to hear what you have to say and what you think about Intel coming to town. So comment below and we'll see you next time.